Well, the most dietary guidelines recommend an intake of about 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. And in actual fact, when we look at the literature, we find that probably about double that or even more is actually required for optimal health. And the reason that the guidelines actually underestimate the needs for optimal protein is that protein has two jobs in the body. It's used to build stuff, so things like muscles and bones require protein as a structural substrate. But it's also involved in things like enzymatic activities. So enzymes are little proteins that help chemical reactions along and do things in our body, and they're very important for our function. But in the original analysis, when they were trying to calculate exactly how much protein we need, they didn't actually consider the role of proteins as enzymes and all their myriad of important functions. They only looked at it as a building block for the tissues. Um, and as a consequence, they severely underestimated the level of protein, which is consistent with good health. And as we know that plant proteins are also clearly inferior to animal proteins in the basis of their digestibility and bioavailability, um, they basically they don't contain the same amounts of essential amino acids and they don't contain the right concentrations of the other amino acids to be uh, fully incorporated into body tissues effectively or as effectively as the animal protein. So if we consider that protein intakes on certain, say, a vegetarian diet might actually necessarily be lower, then that can actually, and the protein is not as good quality, then we end up with less lean tissues, less bone density, less muscle mass, these kind of tissues which are associated with good health.